Saudi Arabia is planning to build the most technologically advanced city in the world. And as always, you know what caught my attention, AI. It is set to become the first city in the world to have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions. How is this possible in the first place? And what is the role of AI? Let's find out. According to the promise of the Saudis, the line will grow into a city that goes 170 kilometers from the epic Neo Mountains to the beautiful Red Sea through an inspiring desert valley. The city would be nothing less than a wonder of mirrored architecture that rises 500 meters above the sea level and is only 200 meters wide. These dimensional properties would help the government to save land. Looking at the concept, I must admit that this vision changed the way we think about urban growth and the way towns will look in the future. The Line Exhibition, which is now open to the public in Riyadh, is about a civilizational change in how to live in a way that is unlike anything else. As promised, there will be no roads, cars, or pollution and the whole thing will run on green energy. Also, 95% of the land will be set aside for nature. In contrast to traditional cities, the health and well-being of the people will come before transportation and facilities. The Saudis hope that this city will soon be home to the smartest and most talented people, a place where social and economic experiments can be done without any smog or traffic, along with world-class preventative health care that will help people live longer. The head of NEOM, about the line, claimed that this would be the company's most important project as a world of the future that will run entirely on AI. Over 10 million people will be accompanied in Neom and everything that happens in the city will be monitored and enabled by AI technologies, he added. In another part of his speech, Al Nasser said that AI was the heart of Neom and that it would lead the way in new ideas and technologies in the future. Neom is both a project and a business model. It will have a vision, an economy, and laws that will bring in the best experts from all over the world and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It will be artificial intelligence that makes the line project possible. This project will be the future of the world. As the chief stated, the main goal of Neom is to make robots and AI a part of everyone's life so that they can create jobs and make money in important future economic areas. This change from an economy based on oil and gas to one based on AI may help us understand how AI will affect the world. The line is set to become a smart city that will use data to put people and the environment's needs first. To put it another way, the line's goal is to make it possible for digital connections to real things, computation and analysis of those things, and contextualization to help people make new choices. The line is mainly working on bringing together self-driving technologies like AI, robots, and the Internet of Things (IoT) and blockchain in order to build a fully cognitive city. By figuring out, interpreting, and mapping out future needs, people will be able to make solutions and services fit their own needs. AI and Project NEOS, the world's first city-centered data operating platform, will be used in the cognitive city to make it easier to move people and send and receive data. They will also power the city's communication system. To go along with Project NEOS, NEOM is also making XVRS, which is a first-of-its-kind cognitive digital twin metaverse that is based on human needs. This way, people will be able to personalize solutions and services by identifying, interpreting, and mapping out future requirements. AI's ability to analyze data is changing the way complicated decisions are made. Neom is using AI to decide how to use its resources, handle risks, and solve difficult problems. This not only makes the city run more smoothly, but it also makes sure that Neom's growth is stable and long-lasting, even when things go wrong. The healthcare and education systems within Neom are on the verge of a significant transformation. Utilizing AI-driven diagnostics and individualized treatment strategies will revolutionize healthcare, while the integration of adaptive educational technologies will revolutionize learning experiences, customizing engagement for students across various age groups. The infusion of AI into Neom's business environment will initiate a surge of inventive business frameworks and enterprises. Entrepreneurs and creative minds will be attracted to a city that fosters and applauds AI-fueled solutions. It's not a surprise, though, that powerful artificial intelligence is being used. To begin with, the line is a big project, but it will only be built on 34 square kilometers of land, though. This is important for keeping the project's infrastructure on as little land as possible, so people in the city will be able to get all the services within five minutes. Given Neom's pivotal role as a technology hub. It necessitates an unbreachable digital defense. AI-powered cybersecurity measures will serve as strong defenses against cyber threats, ensuring the protection of Neom's vital infrastructure
structure and data. In October, the digging for the amazing building project started. Some people see it as a great example of an eco-friendly city, while others think it's just a marketing stunt. Now, experts from the Complexity Science Hub show why the line shouldn't be used as a model for future cities. Here are some reasons for it. The city will have 9 million people living in it, which is more than any other city in Saudi Arabia. This means that there are 265,000 people living in every square kilometer, which is 10 times more than in Manhattan and 4 times more than in the inner districts of Manila, which are thought to be the densest urban areas on Earth right now. It's still not clear how they can get that many people to come to live in a medium-sized space. Not only is getting the traction they aspire a big question, but also mobility is also a major concern. Frito Curiel from Complexity Science Hub says, A line is the single least useful shape for a city. There's a reason Earth has 50,000 cities, and they're all round in some way, he says. It takes about 57 kilometers to get from one person in line to another. Two people can be found only 33 kilometers apart in Johannesburg, which is 50 times bigger. Based on a one-kilometer walking distance, only 1.2% of people can get from one place to another on foot. This makes it harder to move around by foot, so people will have to use public transportation. A high-speed train system is going to be the main part of public transport. According to Daniel Condor, a researcher at CSH, there must be at least 86 stops so that everyone can walk to one. Because of this, trains have to stop at stations a lot of the time and can't go very fast between any two places. The researchers say that this means that the average trip will take 60 minutes, and for at least 47% of the people, the commute will be even longer. Even with more fast lines, gains are limited because more people have to be moved. People would still have to drive farther than in other big cities, like Seoul, where 25 million people get to work in less than 50 minutes. People only want to spend a certain amount of time commuting, so good transport is very important for towns to do well. But could these trips through the city be avoided if everything was close by because of high density? Cities are more than just a bunch of 15-minute neighborhoods that are mostly separate from each other. Cities are different from smaller towns, not only because they are bigger, but also because they offer more things to do outside of a local area, like concerts or a longer job search. Because of this, authorities need to think about how to get around the whole city. If you turn the line into a circle with a 3.3 kilometer radius, there would only be 2.9 kilometers between any two people, and 24% of the people in there would be able to walk to each other. A high-speed train system is not needed because most people could get around by walking, biking, or other active means. On the other hand, the circle could make it possible for good connections even with lower densities, so there would be no need for very tall buildings. Will this far-fetched dream ever turn into a reality? Only time will tell. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI and technology. I've made another video on how the world is set to look like after AGIs. Click on the video link popping up and I will catch you there in a second.